What's up y'all, my name is Daniel Tutanov and welcome officially to the first episode of the Winter Bulk that I'm going to be doing. Today is the 5th of November in some of the previous videos. I said I'm gonna begin the bulk on the, 5th, on the 1st of November so I can do it for two months throughout the 1st of November to the 1st of January. But I couldn't really start it on the 1st and today I actually have and I have some, I had some stuff to do. So today, finally, I have some time to actually finally prepare enough food and get my meals in and record a workout and everything. So yeah, today, the 5th of November, the bulk officially starts. It's gonna be a two month bulk from the 5th of November to the 5th of January. Right now, I'm gonna step up on the weight scale, see where my weight is right now. I still haven't eaten today. I don't think I've, I drank just a little bit of water, I didn't even have coffee, no anything. So we're gonna measure my morning weight. We're gonna see real, really quick how my physique checks uh, looks, how my physique looks. Uh, I did a, like a really, really quick and intense like 50 minute work, uh, leg workout last night. Today I'm going to be doing arms in this video. So yeah, let me, I mean might as well, I want to just show you the physique real quick. Actually, let's just step up on the weight scale first. Once again, thank you for clicking on the video. This is gonna be the series that I'm gonna be uploading for the next two months, the book series. So yeah, without anything else to say, let's step on the weight scale, see how am I measuring, check the physique, and I'll show you the first meal of the day. Alright, so there's the weight scale. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. Eighty-seven point two kilos is gonna be the weight that we're gonna be starting the bulk. I guess you saw it. Let me turn out the camera. So yeah guys, as you also my morning weight as of the first 5th of November. 5th of November, my morning weight is 87.2 kilos, which is, I'm gonna put it on the screen, I'm not sure how much that's in pounds, but I'm gonna put it on the screen as long as I don't forget. Let's do a really quick physique check, and I can show you first meal of the day. So, as you all have in mind, I haven't been doing a cut, I've just been ma like maintaining, so not obviously as slim as I would want to, but as morning weight of 87.2 kilos, I'm standing at 6 foot 1, which is 186 centimeters, so 187, something like that. This is the morning weight. So yeah, pretty much this is how I look on the 5th of November, standing at 87.2 kilos. Like I said, once again, I'm gonna put that in pounds on the screen. So yeah, we have two bulks. My goal for this bulk is first it was 100 kilos, but I don't think that's either possible because I want to keep the bulk in a pretty clean way. I don't want it to be a dirty bulk. I want to keep it as clean as possible. I'm probably going to have one off day, uh, which is like a, a cheat day, is what I meant, in which I'm going to be making it into a dirty bulk. But other than that, every other day is going to be a clean bulk, or at least I'm going to try to do a clean bulk. So, as I was saying, my goal at first, I wanted to hit 100 kilos to 125 pounds. But as I, I, I was like a two or three kilos heavier right now I'm 87.2 so the goal is going to be 97.5 which is just a little bit over 10 kilos I would love this to be the goal and if I can achieve it that would be great so yeah the goal would be to gain 10 kilos obviously not just pure muscle mass because that's not really possible to gain just muscle mass there's gonna be quite a big amount of fat gained in the process as well but I'm doing that because right now I'm standing at 87.2. If I can go up to 97.5 and then do a really good cut, I can go down to like 90, 91 kilos looking lean and looking good. 
just putting up a little bit of muscle mass after the bulk. So this is pretty much that's that's I don't know, I don't know what else can I say. That's pretty much like bodybuilding and working out and stuff like that. So yeah. Once again guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for watching my series. I'll try to post as often as I could. Hopefully there's gonna be like a video every other day, like two to three days there's gonna be a new video of the series. But yeah, obviously I'm gonna be recording probably only the days when I work out because obviously I'll have like a couple, I don't know how many days I'm gonna be resting throughout the week. But obviously I'm not gonna be uploading every single day, especially on the days I will be recording every single day, especially on the days when I'm just eating my meals and not working out and just having some random other stuff to do. I don't know, if I have something interesting to do, I might record it and upload it, but not for now. So yeah, that was pretty much like the intro. You all saw the, you all saw the physique standing at 87.2. Hopefully we'll go back and we'll see like a actual change and not just putting up just a bunch of fat on top of my body right now hopefully we'll gain some muscle mass hopefully my strength levels will go up and yeah let me show you my first bulking meal of the day with an approximate macros i still i still don't have a weight scale for my food i need to buy this today and after that i'm going to be tracking my macros i'm going to be measuring the food and all right now i just don't have a weight scale for my food. So yeah, let me show you my first poking breakfast of the Spoke series. All right, so right now it's, what time is it? It's 15 past 12, it's 12, 15. So this is my first meal of the day. I've been fasting for like, what? probably gonna keep the fast, as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm gonna keep the fast in the bulk as well. I don't know, it's gonna depend on the day, even though I'm really hungry, but I had some stuff to do in the morning. So that's why my meals comes at this time but it doesn't matter as long as i get all my meals in that i'm planning on so let me show you what i got for my breakfast i guess especially on a boat you can't go wrong with some cereal but this is just not cereal this is cookie crisp with regular milk and a scoop of protein powder so from the cereal the milk and the protein powder just from this bowl we get like 45 grams of protein. There's like 33 grams in the scope of protein powder, 7 grams in the cereal, and like 4 or 5 grams in the milk. So, yeah, especially on a bulk, I prefer all, uh, regular milk rather than oat or almond or any other milk because it don't have any protein in it. But regular milk does. So, this bowl right here, for around 45 grams of protein, and it's around 500 calories, like 550. Like I said, I don't have my weight scale, so I can't measure my food yet. So I can't tell you the exact macros. But yeah, it's around 45 grams of protein and around 50, uh, 550 calories, which I think is pretty good. I have my cup of coffee. And as the other part of the breakfast, there it is. I have some scrambled eggs and four sandwiches with ground beef. So these sandwiches are like pretty low in calories. They're like multi grain seeds, whatever you call them. But yeah, we have four, four little sandwiches with ground beef. There, the four sandwiches combined, they're around with the ground beef and all, they're around another 500 calories. And they're about 30 grams of protein from the bread and from the ground beef. Maybe like 25, maybe just a little bit less. And from the eggs, we have one whole egg and four egg whites so from every egg white we have like 3.6 grams of protein which would come to let me do the math 18 grams of protein and from the one yoga we have we can just round it up to 20. so we have 20 grams of protein in the eggs we have like 25 from the sandwiches and we have which would come to 45 and 45 here we have breakfast 90 grams of protein approximately and the calories are a little bit over a thousand it's like the sandwiches are like 500 550 here and the eggs they're like 200 so yeah like 1250 1300 calories 90 grams of protein perfect bulking breakfast 
So yeah, it's gonna be my first meal of the day. I'll be right back with my second meal, which is probably gonna be my pre-workout meal. And then we're gonna go to the gym and hit some arms. All right, so for my next meal of the day, it's like three hours later, it's like 3.40 right now. It's almost four o'clock, I'm around in 20 minutes, around four o'clock, I'm gonna go to the gym. So I'll have my, my pre-workout meal right now. I wasn't really feeling like, so obviously I want some carbs in my in my system for my workout. So I wasn't really feeling like hold on, let me fix the lighting real quick. I wasn't really feeling like any like pasta or like rice for my carb source. So I'm having an oatmeal, just a regular oatmeal. Uh, I put some coconut chocolate milk. Uh, they are pretty much like 60 calories in a serving in the serving that I put. They are like barely any carbs, any protein, any fats. They're like two, three grams of carbs, like four grams of fats, like even less grams of protein. So they're barely no macros, but at least makes the oats taste good. And let me show you how they look like. Right there, as you can see, I have my bowl of oats. I have around 120 grams of oats. I have around 80 milliliters of chocolate coconut milk I have a banana in there, I have some mixed berries I have a scoop of peanut butter and I have another coffee I was feeling another coffee because I don't know, I'm kind of like sleepy so I need more, some more energy but I didn't want a pre-workout because I feel like that would be too much and I wouldn't really be able to sleep since I had already had a coffee and I've had a good enough sleep so I don't really feel new or need I don't really need pre-workout so yeah this is gonna be like my pre-workout meal just some regular oats mixed berries, banana and a scoop of peanut butter I'm gonna have my my pills for the day my yeah, my pills for that I forgot to took earlier, which are my fish oil, my omega-3, my fish oil, and my calcium and magnesium. Um, I have, I just ordered some stuff, but they arrived over at my college dorm, which is in another city, so I don't really have access to them right now. But I ordered some creatine. I haven't taken creatine in like almost a year. I was taking it before, but I was getting, because my diet was not really on point, and from... Um, I forgot the word, from all this water that I was uh, containing in my body, I was just feeling and looking a bit too bloated. So I stopped taking creatine and I'm going to be starting taking creatine in like a couple of days and I'm always doing like a, a loading phase and stuff. So hopefully this loading phase of creatine gives me like a nice little boost and yeah, hopefully it helps the bug. Right now, I'm gonna have the pre-workout meal, and I'll see you guys at the gym. Stay up, wake up, haven't seen the sun since 10, babe. They are haters, the seal has been my only fucking friend, yeah. On and on we go, on and on, it sounds an awful lot like hell, yeah.
everything I wanted in this lifetime I had to put my beliefs on the front line And every song that I sing It's always been you and me Tell my baby it'll be another late night I left work eight hours after midnight No breaks, no sleep Everything I wanted in this lifetime I had to put my beliefs on the front line And every song that I sing It's always been you and me Till my baby it'll be another late night I left work eight hours after midnight No breaks, no sleep And it's always been you and me Like a raven over the grave I get lost over the in tune with my spirit doing shrooms trip for days 18 with the blacks in the projects with the raps white boy with the blacks from the sticks i cross the tracks rock and roll rolling stone daddy left his pistol home loaded up shooting bottles off the porch to his songs i was troubled i was hurt and it bubbled to the surface took it out on writing songs and put that seed up under the dirt god gave me water two sons and one daughter i prayed and prayed harder work hard and play harder I Lies, put thumbtacks over outlines And when they said I was out my mind I put more goals in the pipeline This is my time To get everything I wanted in this lifetime I had to put my beliefs on the front line In every song that I sing It's always been you and me Till my baby it'll be another late night I left work eight hours after midnight No breaks, no sleep
coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I go out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling that I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> so, you know, I'm in heaven. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym, or the most satisfying feeling you can get in a gym, is the pump. Eu vou acabar com o motivo Toma, 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 toma.